Health News tonight, the latest on West Nile virus in our state. No human cases reported yet, but News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa found out that it takes time to take the necessary precautions. Mm -hmm. Jocelyn? Right. Sonia and Keith, the dry summer is keeping the overall mosquito population down, but the bad news is the mosquito that carries West Nile virus is alive and well. This is Beaver Pond in New Haven. We're headed over to the light trap here. One of the site's field collector Jerry Piscatelli monitors for Culex pipians, the mosquitoes known for carrying the West Nile virus. This trap uses a combination of CO2 and a light to attract the mosquitoes. Close by is the gravid trap, where stinky swamp water attracts the pesky skeeters. Okay, I smell it now. <laughs> While the dry, hot weather... Um, yeah, I can see this one's really light. ...is keeping the total mosquito population down. Back at the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station Laboratory, on closer inspection, the number of Culex pipians is actually up. These are coming out of our storm drains and catch basins, uh, predominantly in our suburban and urban sites. Chief Medical Entomologist Dr. Theodore Andriatis says the current weather condition is ideal. I'm fully expecting that in the coming weeks, maybe as soon as next week, we're going to start to see a buildup of the virus. Already, the virus has been detected in Stanford. West Nile virus tends to impact urban populated areas in the state. We're also beginning to get a few calls on dead crows. Uh, we're not testing birds this year, but I strongly suspect because they are crows and they're so susceptible to the virus that they're likely infected with uh, West Nile virus. That's why he strongly advises to take precautions against these mosquitoes, especially at home. Eliminate standing bodies of water, bird baths, buckets, any ornamental pools, rain uh, barrels. Uh, empty them out at least on a weekly basis. Last year, nine human cases of West Nile were reported. The early morning and evening hours are when we are more at risk of being bitten by a mosquito. Peak season for West Nile is in August. Symptoms include skin rash, fever, and headache. People with a weakened immune system are especially vulnerable. For more information, log on to WTNH.com.